Lycia, that was unified with Pamphylia in 73 AD, got into a standalone state with the reforms of Emperor Diocletianus, 284-305 AD, and Emperor Constantinus I, 324-337 AD. During Emperor Theodosius II period, 408-450, capital of the Lycian state was Mira. As Lycian ports were on the major route of Mediterranean trade, reaching Cyprus, Syria, Palestine and Egypt, it became a frequent destination especially for pilgrims traveling from Europe to Jerusalem and trade ships. Sasanian invasion, starting in the first half of 7th century, were followed by the Arab invasions. Lycia was important not only for mercants and pilgrims, but at the same time for Byzantine navy and crusaders. Byzantine continuously kept a navy on Lycian shores. Lycia was completely opened to Turks after Byzantine armies were defeated by Seljuk at Battle of Miriokeparum in 1176. The transformation into a single state of Lycia and Pamphylia, for administrative reasons, occurred in 68-69 AD during the period of Emperor Galba. The action that intensified during the second half of 1st century AD built up the infrastructures creating Lycia's prime period. During the nearly 100 years long period, from Emperor Trajan to Emperor Marcus Aurelius, Lycia lived its prime and most powerful time, especially in Emperor Hadrian's and Emperor Antonius Pius periods. The regression and chaos period started with the murder of Emperor Caracalla at the beginning of 3rd century AD. These confusions and the empire losing its own power also got reflected to Lycia. Saint Paul of Tarsus visited Andriache and Mira on his way to Rome for his trial concerning inciting a riot in Jerusalem in 60 AD. Mira was raised to the status of metropolis in the 2nd century AD Nicholas was the Bishop of Myra and died here in the first half of the 4th century. Its increasing importance under the Christian emperors was recognized in the announcement of Myra as the capital of Lycia in 408 AD and it remained the capital until 450 AD. In 1390, Sultan Bayezid I raised the first Ottoman flag in Lycia. All Lycian shores coming under the domination of the Ottoman happened after about a century long battle. This is because they were also at war with Venetians, Genovese and St. John's Cavalier. These battles were mostly disrupted in 1479 and settled to southwestern Ottoman shores. The last flag rose on these lands with the heroic battle of Turks and Lycia, like entire Anatolia entered a new era with the Turkish Republic. Present-day Lycia, with its ongoing traditions of antiquity, is one of the cornerstones of Turkey with the Mediterranean blue and snow-covered west hills of Taurus Mountain.